Hello lovelies, it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Glamour channel and today I have for you my next fabulous Vintage Tea With Me video where we're going to be sitting down, sipping some tea and I'm going to be discussing some tips on the topic of nerves on stage. It's a beautiful stormy day here in Perth. We're currently in the middle of our winter. So I do apologize if the lighting changes a little bit or if there's thunder in the background, but it's my last opportunity to film this video on time for release. So I'm sitting down and I just want you to know if there's any strange noises, that's what's going on in the background. Today I am sipping on some decadent peppermint tea from a new tea line I just discovered, which is Queen Victoria Tea. The peppermint is beautiful and has a really strong beautiful flavor. So let's get into today's topic. Do you ever feel nervous before you go on stage or are you maybe someone who hasn't had the confidence to go on stage yet because you feel that your nerves are holding you back from actually getting up on stage? If you're watching this video there's a good chance that you answered yes to these questions and I truly hope watching this video will give you some help and guidance in your performance journey. I've been performing for half of my life and 11 years of this I've been working professionally. I've been asked many times by other performers, students and audience members if I ever get nervous before I go on stage and I truthfully answer that I definitely do experience nerves going on stage. It'll vary depending on what type of performance and what the show is. There's definitely things I've invested a lot more time and energy into it so I really want to see them do well but nerves are something everyone experiences. The difference is though that I have learned some tips and tricks and helped develop those over time to overcome my nerves and achieve amazing things. Being nervous is a very natural reaction before we go on stage. This is especially so if this is our first time going on stage or if performing is something that is newer to us and something we don't have much experience in. For many of us, performing is outside our comfort zone. We like to stay where we feel comfortable and not challenge ourselves, but it's important to remember it's outside our comfort zone where we achieve all those amazing things. With all this in mind, I'm gonna share some of my tips and tricks that I have learned and use myself for my own performances so I feel more confident before I get on stage. Tip number one is to prepare. Now this is something I talk about all the time on my channel when it comes to pinup work, burlesque work, whatever it is, it's always really important to prepare. You'll feel more confident and less nervous if you know 100% what you're going to be doing on stage. Preparing is definitely one of the key ways to help yourself feel less nervous in the lead up to an event. Tip number two is to accept the best that you can do. Now this really helps if for some reason, tip number one didn't pan out for you. You didn't have enough time to prepare. You then need to accept the best that you can do on stage. Sometimes things do happen or things go wrong in live performances and we don't want to be too harsh on ourselves no matter what the outcome is. We want to accept the best that we can do in that moment. As long as you're giving your performance your all and having a bit of fun and doing the best that you can, you truly are a winner for this. Tip number three is to consider your health. Ensure before a performance that you're well rested, you've eaten good quality food, and you also want to avoid things like caffeine before you perform. And I know for many of you, you're probably thinking that's a little bit crazy, but quite often caffeine makes us a little bit jittery and that jittery energy is not going to contribute it in a positive way. We're going to be a little bit wound up, a little bit jittery. We're not going to be feeling completely confident, which is going to affect our nerves. Having a balanced lifestyle is the best way that we can ensure that we're performing in our optimum and this will help us not feel nervous before we go on stage. Tip number four is to do a warm up. So this is both your body, your mind, and your facial muscles are all really important aspects for your warm-up. Depending on your style of performance, your warm-up will vary as it'll depend on what sort of things you need to be able to achieve on stage. A basic warm-up that's really good to do is to get your blood pumping. So you wanna do some movements that really gets your blood flowing. So things like jumping jacks and star jumps, maybe an ab workout, some kicks, 
things like this will all get your body moving. Jumping is actually a really great way to get rid of some of the extra energy. Quite often before we get on stage, we've got a lot of adrenaline pumping. So by jumping up and down, what we're doing is getting rid of some of that extra energy and we can recenter ourselves quite a bit. After getting the body a bit warmer, we can do some stretches, especially if we need to do some targeted stretches to warm up to do big kicks on stage or jump into a splits or something like that. Our face is really important on stage. So you'll want to do some facial warm up exercises. There's tons of these available online, but if you simply just go through the vowels by saying A, E, I, O, U, and really exaggerating those movements or going, ooh, ah, ooh, Ah, it's gonna warm up those muscles and relax them quite a bit. This will stop us from having really strained muscles on stage and create more organic, beautiful facial expressions. By warming up our body completely, we're gonna feel more confident to go on stage. Tip number five is to make yourself a playlist. Jump onto Spotify in the lead up to your event and create a playlist of songs that you find uplifting or inspiring or songs that sort of bring on the emotions that you need to channel on stage. This could also be calming music or tranquil music or some sort of meditative music to help you center yourself before you jump up and go on stage. Backstage can be a really noisy place so sometimes it can be a great idea to pop some headphones in and just relax into your music and do your warm up or whatever else you need to do before you get on to your performance. Tip number six is to work on our self-talk. So in our mind, quite often we have a lot of negative self-talk going on, so we want to identify that and start replacing it with positive things. While we want to do this at all times, this especially happens when we're about to get on stage. Quite often our inner saboteur, the person in ourselves that doesn't want us to succeed, is saying that we're not going to be good enough to go on stage, or the performance isn't good enough for the audience, or whatever else is popping into your mind. Instead, you want to replace this with positive sentiments that help Help uplift you and feel confident before you go on stage. Tip number seven is to try some power poses. Power posing is this incredible thing of opening up your body and posing and having good posture in a manner that makes you feel more confident. You can look up a whole range of different power poses, but just having good posture, opening up your body and standing upright and being confident is gonna change your demeanor completely. What we want to avoid backstage is shrinking down and just kind of sitting in a corner and feeling bad for ourselves. When we do this, we're closing ourselves off. We're not getting ready for our performance. We're really building ourselves down. We want to bring that energy up on stage and get ready to do an amazing performance. Tip number eight is to work on our breathing. We can do different breathing exercises to relax ourselves and calm our energy, especially if we're starting to get quite anxious about performing. So what we can do, there's so many variations that you can look up and find what suits for you. I simply do some square breathing, so I breathe in for four, I hold for four, and I release for four, and hold for four. And repeat that several times through as needed, until I feel much more calm in myself. Breath has so much control over our emotions and how we feel, so we really wanna focus on creating a really good breath pattern to kinda of relax ourselves back down. Tip number nine is to work on visualization. Quite often, like with our negative self-talk, we focus on visualizing the worst possible scenario that can happen on stage. We're picturing everything going wrong, not doing well, the audience not reacting well to our performance, or maybe not even applauding at the end. We play out these scenarios in our head and we let them take over what could be some really good time to start refocusing our energy and visualizing being really successful on stage, having the best possible performance, doing the best thing that we could on stage. If we instead spent all our time focusing on the positive, like with our self-talk, we want to visualize our positive performance, our beautiful outcomes, being successful in whatever we're doing. By making these little tweaks, we're going to see such a big difference in our mood, in our performance, in how we respond to the people around us. 
Tip number 10 is to redirect that energy that is flowing through us. Quite often when we're backstage, we choose to focus on our nervousness. This starts to become a vicious cycle of just thinking within all these negative different things that are going on. We focus on the nervousness in general. What we want to start to do is redirecting that energy into our performance, all that nervous energy, we want to channel it into doing something amazing. Instead of letting that nervous energy push us down, we can choose to let us uplift us and push that energy out to create the best possible performance. These have been my 10 tips that I use to overcome my own pre-show nerves. Now these are things that definitely take a lot of time to work on and begin to actually apply to yourself. And I promise the more you perform, the easier it's going to get. When it's your first time performing or if you're in the early years of your performance journey, this is definitely the hardest time. Sometimes just getting on stage can be the most difficult thing to overcome. But with each little step that you take, it does start to become more of an enjoyable experience. If I hadn't battled against my own nerves, I wouldn't be where I am today. Even when I first started YouTube, I was so nervous to get on the camera. And sometimes I do feel nervous because I really want to create something amazing. But I always do the thing and make it happen because that's where you achieve all your dreams. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I truly hope for some people this can be maybe something you use to help you get through your performance journey and really get out there and do some amazing things. I live by my mantra of dream big and make it happen. And I can't wait to see you all on stage. If you'd like early access to these videos, exclusive content, and to help support me creating more videos here on YouTube, I have my Glamour community on Patreon. I'd like to thank all my patrons, but especially my VIP Glamour patrons, which I will list here. The support you give me truly helps me in creating more more here on YouTube. If you'd like to follow my daily pinup adventures, I post super regularly to Instagram. I'll pop a little link down here as well as the end of the video. And to never miss out on my vintage fun, be sure to hit the subscribe button below, turn on those bell notifications, and I will be seeing you all real soon. Mm -hmm.